Hi, in this video I'm looking at this problem here where we've got Liam who's borrowed $30,000 to buy a new car on the 3rd of June. His loan has an interest rate of 12.7% per annum with interest calculated monthly and monthly repayments of $620. We want to work out how much Liam owes on the 3rd of November in that year and how much interest Liam has paid during this period. So this is a reducing balance loan. We know this because we're making constant repayments every month or every period of $620 and we're getting interest applied as well. So we're going to use the recurrence relation a n plus 1 is r a n minus capital R. And this relation gives us uh, the value at the end of every period, in this case month, throughout the loan. We just need to work out what the different values in this rule are. A0 is our initial value in the loan. That's our $30,000. Capital R is our repayment, $620. Little r is given by the rule 1 plus i, where i is our interest rate per period. So our interest rate is 12.7% per annum, which we need to convert into a decimal by dividing by 100 and then we also need to convert it into, in this case, monthly periods. So we've also got to divide by how many times it happens per year, 12 months in a year, so we divide by 12. So i is 12.7 over 1200. So when we write little r, it's going to be 1 plus 12.7 over 1200. So now to actually work out our values, we use a table to help us. And this table sets out for each period, in this case month, what are all the values involved. And we have our principal, which is basically a n of the loan, or each period. We have the principal plus the interest. So we add our interest on. And that's just the RAN part of the rule. And then we work out what our interest is. And if we have principal plus interest, RAN, then to work out the interest alone, we need to minus off our principal, AN. And then we put into this table also the repayment, which is R. And we put in the balance at the end of that period, which is the entire part of the rule, RAN minus our repayment. So if we now work out all of these values, and we're going to do this for a number of months. Now our first month is where we're going to start. We're going to start with a zero is being our first principal, which is 30,000. And then we're going to work out our principal plus our interest. So we're going to have our little r, 1 plus 12.7 on 1200. And we're going to multiply by that principal, 30,000. And if we work that out in a calculator, we get $30,317.50 for our first month, principal and interest add together. We then take that number, 30,317.50. We minus off our principal, 30,000. And that's going to give us the interest, that extra that is paid this month. So there's an extra $317.50 paid this month. Our repayment, well that never changes, it's always $620. And our balance is going to be our $30,317.50 minus off that repayment of $620. And that's going to give to us a balance at the end of the first month of $29,697.50.
So at the end of the first month, $317.50 of interest was added to the loan, but we paid $620 off of it, so we have $29,000, almost $700 left owing. So then we can do our second month, and we should keep track of which months these are, because we started on the 3rd of June, so the end of the first month is from the 3rd of the June through to the 3rd of July. And then from there, we get to the 3rd of August. And so that way we can work out how many months we have to do. Now, if we go through all our numbers again, we have 2969750 for our principal, because that's where we ended up the previous period. So that's where we start this period. We then multiply that number by our 1 plus 12.7 over 1200. So we're going to take that and we're going to multiply by this 2969750. And so that's going to give us, now we have $30,011.80 in total, principal and interest. So we take that number and we minus off the principal for this period. And that means that this period, we have a grand total of $314.30 of interest added. We then make a repayment of $620. So we have $30,011.80 minus of $620. And that means at the end of this period, this month, the 3rd of August, we still have $29,000. $391.80 remaining. So we now do for the next do this for the next month. So that gets us to the 3rd of September for our third month in a row. And so we bring down our balance from the previous month, 2939180. We then multiply by little r to get our principal plus interest. So at the end of this month we have $29,702.86 owing. We then minus off our principal so we get our interest. So we have $311.06 of interest paid this month in September, or by the 3rd of September. We then make a repayment of $620, which means that we can work out our final balance by doing our principal plus interest minus off our repayment. So we have $29,082.86 still owing by the end of the 3rd of September. We can then do the same for the 4th month, which will get us to the 3rd of October. So again, we bring down our balance, add on our interest, minus of our principal to work out what that interest is, make a repayment, and that gives us our balance. So at the end of the 3rd of October, we have... $28,770.66. And so we can now finally do the last month, our fifth month, because this gets us to the 3rd of November. So we bring down our previous balance. We add on our interest. We work out what that interest is. We then make a repayment and work out our final balance. So that means that at the end of our fifth month, we finally have... $28,455.14 owing. So now that we've done all of these calculations and we have our completed table, we can actually answer what the question's asking us for. So the first part, part A, asked us how much does Liam owe on the 3rd of November? We worked that out at the end of our table. So the answer to part A is that on the 3rd of November, he still has $28,455.14. And part B, which is why we keep a track of the interest earned every time through our loan, is so that we can work out how much interest he's paid during this period. Because the total interest he's paid is all of these numbers added up. So we just got to add up this column. So we've got to do 317.50 plus 314.30 plus and so on. So our interest paid gives us a grand total of $1,555.14 that he paid 
across these five months. So there we have it. If we have a reducing balance loan, we can use our recurrence relation, use a table to help us organize all of our calculations, and that means we can go and answer a variety of different questions along the lines of how much interest was paid, how much total repayments has he done, what balance does he have at different times throughout the loan.